Look at this. The seats are levitating. That is super cool. Look in the middle. What you have is a teapot specifically designed just for this car. You even have the little cups. I'm gonna sit inside. One of the first people to ever sit inside. Below me is the sky. This is actually a Japanese tatami mat and I feel like I'm flying. All right, let's get out. Over here on the headrest, you have an AI powered system that can read your heartbeat, your brain waves to recommend different kinds of music. And that over there is the steering wheel because the front seats can rotate and switch driving modes. All right, step back, take a look at the doors. The entire car looks like it's levitating and that's inspired by the Japanese magnetic levitating train. Covers the wheels, looks like it's flying, pretty cool. All right, over to the front. This is pretty cool. So, what you'll see is that this is kind of like floating, the Nissan logo is floating, has a digital panel behind it, but then you have the physical part right here. It's actually like a Japanese kumiko going from physical to digital. And underneath it, you have like an invisible front spoiler, so the air goes through here. It actually creates downforce, all right? So, going over to the side, Look at these rims. These are so cool. It's pieces being held together without any kind of nails. The side has a light bar. It's a 360 light that goes around the car. And look at the back. It's completely flat. This car is called the Nissan Hyper Tourer and it's the epitome of luxury for Nissan. Check this out. All right. Let's open this up. When you sneak through the seats, check out this animation that you have on the screen. Pillar to pillar. The reason why the inside is so spacious is because they've packaged the batteries as flat as possible on the bottom. Less battery space, more space for the passenger. What do you guys think? <laughs>